me when you're ready. <coughs> Okay. Yeah, so this is video. This is for our instructor um, methodology class for EMS. It's helping us get our instructor um, level one certification. So we appreciate all you guys coming out and helping us achieve this by participating in these short um, lectures. Tonight will be two 15 minute um, sessions, okay? And we'll do, you know, very general, um, but we do want to give you some information. Um, Mine is going to be on social media. I think everyone in here does social media by hands. Who has a social media account of any kind? You want to pan the room, show all the... So we have two. I know, I know you do. We have two people. You don't do any social media, no Pinterest, nothing? Okay. Well, I'll show you all the great things you might be missing out on. How about that? Okay, that is Social media? You can get it at the store? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the gossip at the store. Well, you're, okay, so that's it. Social media is taking that away from all the older people sitting at, at the stores and gossiping. It's just the same thing as a digital. It never goes away. So tonight we're looking at how it affects you. Um, for EMS, we have a big policy, and it's a big topic of whether we should share things on social media. A lot of us are proud of what we do, so you know we're super excited. We get to put on uniforms and come in. Um, but there's a lot of things that we do that doesn't need to go past that truck or you know that incident that you do. So just as a tidbit, keep that in mind. You know, not to share everything. It's okay to be passionate and share your experiences, but make sure you're also protecting that person that you're helping. So I have a little tidbit of um, what social media is about. Hey guys, here's a selfie. Okay, lights please. Karma. So everybody Karma, wants please, lights please, and my legs, and Give the chairs. Hey guys, here's my stomach. Okay, you know the drill. Come on, lights, Karma, validation, let's go. Come on, send it my way, let's do this. Hey guys, here's a hidden talent. You know, because everyone needs to know how to double in the middle okay, of the night. Okay, views, internet, points, come on, let's go, faster, send. Guys, here's a book that I'm reading sometimes. Okay, messages. Tell me I'm smart. Let's go. Everybody Tell me I'm Okay, guys, I'm filming a video of a video of cats doing funny things. Let's go faster. I need more followers. I need more Reddit folks. Give me. A okay, I just considered donating to the American Red Cross. I'm not sure if they got it. Thing. Tell you me gotta, that I'm a good person. Tell me that I'm a saint and share, and share that with all your friends. Guys, I uh, just wanted to say sorry for So he gets a little intense a little bit, but some of the good things that he shows um, I like is when he goes and he gives blood. So that's a great way to get out and spread information. You know, when we do community drives, we here at the Rescue Squad have our own Facebook. We put community events, things like that. So that's a positive way that social media affects our lives. Um, some of the other things he was showing, not so positive. Um, and we'll get to that in a second. So. For those who don't have social media, um, social media is any way that you interact with a computer-based um, technology. So it's it's not your newspaper, it's not your magazine, it's not the telephone, it's things like that. Um, people do it for various reasons. You see that the most popular ones up there. You have Snapchat, which a lot of us do. I'm a, I love Snapchat. You get to do the funny filters. You send them to your friends, go back and forth. Um, you have Pinterest, um, oodles, and I mean, like millions of people use Pinterest. You can save recipes. You can get how to fix, you know, your decorate your kitchen. How to do all those stuff. It's not just for teens and, and young people. It's for, for all groups of of adults and kids alike. Um, you have the Twitter, which we all know President Trump doesn't know how to stay off of Twitter. He likes to go in there and talk and stir up stuff. Even though I'm a Trump supporter, I do wish he kind of filtered that a little bit. That's one of our negative things is that you put stuff out there and it's in black and white. People can't tell if you're joking when you said it or if it was taken out of context. It's out there and then people can spin it any way that they want. So um, you have to kind of be careful with stuff like that. 
Of course, you've got Facebook. Um, over 80% of the people in the United States have Facebook. And that, that's a lot of people that use it. You know, it's not just for people that they use it for businesses. They use it um, for news. They use it to generate, um, like if, there are, if we were hiring paramedics, for example, some of the other rescue squads right now, if you go on their Facebook page, it says that they're looking for paramedics. That's how today's world and society is operating. So they have to reach out and they have to be able to connect with, with everyone. So you ask, why would you use social media? You can share your valuable information. Um, you use it to build up your personal, personality um, or your business image. You think of like the, some of the, the celebrities and stuff. You know, everybody follows the Kardashians. I can't think of the other ones. You know, some of the famous basketball players. You know, it goes plus and, and negative. Um, some people use it to interact with their family. They have family that don't live around here. They share pictures. I do it. I'm sure other ones in here do it. Um, a lot of people do it to feel connected to the world. You think of people who can't get out, um, that are, for whatever reason, are homebound, that they're not able to get out and socialize. This gives them a, a way to, to keep up with what's going on um, in the world. They see the news, they get to see things that are happening, they get to watch the fireworks. I mean, imagine if you didn't have the internet and you had no way, that would be a way that you could, you know, turn on the internet, pull up Facebook, and there's a million videos of the fireworks that just happened on 4th of July. The other way is education. Um, a lot of people are not sitting in classrooms anymore, you know, they're doing everything online, and then they go, and these education um, sites, they allow you to, to reach more people and to have better opportunities than just being able to go and sit in a classroom. So again, we have Facebook. You have YouTube. Um, the video that we watched at the very beginning, that was on YouTube. So for those that don't know what YouTube is, you, you video yourself doing random things. Um, like this, this video is going to be recorded and it will be uploaded to YouTube so people can go and, and watch a lecture on social media. It sounds kind of silly, but as like we write, relate it for EMS, when we get to do TSOPs, you go watch other people do them. You figure out what you should do, what you shouldn't do, um, what they're looking for. If you need to figure out how to reset a computer, there's a video online that tells you it'll go step by step by step. So it's very beneficial. There goes your Snapchat. To me, that's more one of your fun things. You just let everybody know what you're doing. Um, and I'll, I'll discuss some of the positives and, and negatives on both of these in just a second. We have Instagram and Pinterest. And then these are all the things that everybody wants, that guy was talking about. You know, he wants the likes, he wants the, the love. Um, if you make him angry, that's the big thing now is that everyone thinks they have to comment. You know, they can't just say, huh, I don't like that picture and scroll past it. They have to hit the little angry thing and leave a comment. You know, so that comes, that'll come into the negative negativity in just a second. And then everyone wants you to like and share. You know, you get coupons. If you like and share this um, Belts sell paper, they'll give you 10% off if you get a coupon. So a lot of it has to do with businesses, not just personal people. And then the famous hashtag. Some people still know this as the number, the pound sign. Um, hashtag is what goes into each of these um, platforms and it groups all the things together. So if you put hashtag EMS, you can go ahead and search that and you'll show any time that someone's done a, a post that was related to hashtag EMS. So it's, you know, it kind of like a, a file cabinet basically up in the web that kind of groups everything together. So you have good, of course. So you get to stay up to date with current affairs, you get to stay connected with your family and friends, you have easy access to basically everything. But with that being said, it comes along that you have some negative things. Biggest thing is that once something's posted, 
anybody can go in there and take it and do what they want to with it. So if like for in high school, you know, you went you went out with some friends or whatever, you posted a picture, and let's say you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing, you post it. <laughs> Um, by the time you get home, I guarantee you that half of your neighborhood already knows it and your mama's going to know it. So you have to be smart, you have to be careful what you post, and the dangers of, for children. You know, there's a lot of sex trafficking, um, negative things that we don't want to go, and you put up innocent pictures of children and they're getting exploited to, to negative things. So, you know, there are drawbacks and there's a lot of things that they do to, to try to prevent it, but you have to be careful. Um, it also comes along with the negativity, what I was saying with the, the angry face earlier. You know, in this day and time, no one really respects other people's opinions. They can't just say, okay, well, I don't like that and, and move on. They feel like that's their right to give their opinion um, and keep going, you know, and argue about it. So it leads to confrontation. It also leads to cyberbullying, um, and that comes into play where there's no downtime. When you do, you know, at school, you could leave school when you left those people at school you know, 10 years ago. Now they follow you home. They're through your cell phones. They're on the internet. They're everywhere. So, you know, you have to try to limit and do a happy balance and a happy medium between the two um, to make it all, you know, it's like with anything. There's good and bad. You just have to monitor what you're doing. You want to make sure you monitor um, your settings because everything, you can control it. So you open up who, who you can do it. You want to make sure you have friends, just not random people up there browsing through because then you come into where your identity, you want to keep your, your privacy private. You know, you don't want everyone knowing where you live and if your parents are home or if your husband's gone or if your kids are home alone or um, if you just bought that brand new car or the brand new four wheeler that's parked out back, you know, that you left the keys in it because you want to go hop on it anytime, that opens up for criminals to come in, you know, and prey on you. and ultimately steal your, your stuff. So who in here, I know we asked earlier, who has social media? Almost everybody. So do you have any questions? I mean, do you understand? Go ahead, Alex. Uh, I was that. Just raising your hand? Yeah. Not for a question? Okay, okay sorry. Um, have you had any problems? Alex, I'll ask you now. Have you had any problems with any negativity on your social? Do you have limited social media? Do you have Facebook? No. no. Okay. So what do you have? I have Snapchat. Snapchat? Okay. YouTube. Bryce, how about you? What do you have? Instagram. Instagram. Facebook. Jean, what do you have? Facebook. What do you use it for? Catch up with the family and the news. What's so family and news? Okay. Um, speaking of the news, you know, used to it would take us, if there was a fire in New Bern, it took a few minutes, you know, if not 30 minutes for a crew to get on scene to go live with the news, you know it as soon as it happens because not only are you hearing it from dispatch, but somebody else is posting it and it's like wildfire. So, you know, it is a great thing like with the hurricane that we just had. Everybody, you know, you could go out there and tell them, hey, these people need help, these people are safe, or whatnot. Billy, do you do any social media? No. No? Do you like it that way? Do you feel... Do you feel the need? He looks at mine. Yeah, I'll look at hers. You look at hers? Okay. So maybe we need to get you one? Maybe. I'll just add Billy's name to hers. Right. So that is um, about all I have for social media and just how it affects us. And I personally, I think it's a great thing. I know a lot of people are hesitant to put you know, your whole life out there. Um, my, my boys are in the back. But I, I share my stuff with them for my family. You know, I like to be able to look back because it keeps memories also. So I don't have separate things of having to go look for memories. You know, there's an app that's another social media thing that comes up and tells me what we were doing two years ago. So it shows you those pictures. So, you know, it's, there's a lot of great things in it. You just have to be careful and monitor yourself, monitor who's getting a hold of your information, and be cautious with that. Yes, sir? One thing about say it, forget it. Write it, regret it. Exactly. That, that's an ex excellent point because, you know, it's out there. I get mad and I'm like, you know, my boss is so mean. Well, then you can bet by the time I get back to work in the morning, my supervisor knows that, you know. And so you can't just say, 
I was just angry because it's already been said, it's already been, someone can screenshot it, it's never gone. So I mean, that's excellent, Albert, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, you just say it to you. Yeah, you I didn't say it. that. I didn't say that. Yeah, you said no, but they have proof, it has your name, you know, it yeah. you know, takes a whole different level of accountability for actions. Any more questions? No? All right. Well, I thank all of you for participating in my lecture, and I hope to see you in a couple of weeks for the round two.